Hi, um, I'm here to discuss a little bit about the different qualities of iPhone X out in the market right now. Um, there has been a lot of confusion and uh, and understanding like, hey, that there's a hard OLED panel, a soft, uh, a LCD panel, there's a premium LCD. What's some of the differences? Um, so I'd like to kind of share over like, hey, what we currently have and what uh, the industry is going to be leading towards in the next near future. The Tienma LCD would be kind of the cheapest option. It's an L LCD version. It's not an OLED panel. It's kind of like the iPhone 7s and 8s and anything below, um, where there is going to be a backlight structure to it, followed by the LCM and a digitizer on top. The GX or Hard Soft ZY, all these are going to be OLED panels, just different material being used to manufacture them. The primary difference between soft and hard OLED panels would be thinking of it as an S7. The S7 would still have a hard OLED panel on it, which isn't easily flexible. The S7 Edge, S8, and anything higher will have a flexible OLED panel. Um, what that does is that you will be able to kind of easily refurbish the soft OLED panels in the near future. Um, and the OEM Apple iPhone X will also have um, soft OLED panels while well, also manufactured by Samsung. Soft being the best one, but at the same time, the most expensive one. The good thing about GX Soft is that color wise, ratio wise, it's one to one, almost I can say, comparative to the OEM one. Um, but when it comes down to the harder ones, they're a little bit, a, slightly a little bit off, but they're pretty accurate comparative to the LCD. I'm gonna turn some of these devices on so I can kind of show you what the differences might be. Um, at top brightness, I would say, hey, 100%, hands down, GX is the brightest, whitest, anything you can see. Um, Tianma LCD, it's gonna have a little shadows or, or around the border wherever the backlight finishes. It's not gonna be as a clean or crisp as look as any one of the hard OLEDs where there is no discoloration wherever the backlight's ending because there is no backlight structure on, on these. Um, the good thing about the GX Soft, since the ratio as, as it comes from the top and bends a, around the border, this is gonna be almost comparative to the OEM where the border is gonna be much smaller. Um, GX Hard, they also have a small border here um, comparative to the ZY. ZY has a little bit thicker border at the bottom. However, when I compare the ZY and GX, you can easily see that, hey, GX has a much harder uh, ends. Um, where the thickness on the side, it actually bends much higher up comparative to a much smoother finish on the ZY. Also, the downfall of the GX is that around the corners, there's going to be a lot more pixelation. So when they cut the OLED panel, I'm not really sure what ends up happening, but at some point, all the pixels at this end just ends up being discolored or being single functional where it's not clearly visible at this side. ZY, on the other hand, is a little bit smoother. The OLED panel is a little bit smaller. Um, so plus and minus on both. If I'm looking at color specifically, I would say, hey, GX might have a little bit of an edge advantage where the whites are a little bit brighter. Um, if I move along and I move to a different color, like blue, uh, blue is almost the same. Green, this is going to have a little bit of a more brighter blue. And the red's going to be much more red comparative to an orange finish on the, um, the Z ZY. And again, GX is probably going to be the best color red where it's more accurate. Again, the main beauty of the GX Soft is that it's a little bit softer on the eyes when you're looking at it for at a constant period of time. Um, and since these all have been on for a few seconds, the best screen for the temperature control wise, I would say would definitely be the ZY Hard OLED. Um, they have used a little bit better heat shield or heat technology to uh, dissipate the heat when the uh, driver I see on them isn't turning as hot. Um, the hottest being the LCD version because there's LED backlights right here. Um, and then the next would be the GX are getting hotter and this, the most coolest is going to be the ZY. So temperature wise, ZY will win. Um, color wise, this will win. The borders, like I said, they both have negatives and positives. This one has a smoother edge where this one has a thinner bottom lip, but the rougher 
end corners and it comes up much smaller compared to it. Um, the other downfall of GX, I would like to say, is as the brightness starts coming down, okay, on the GX panels, you start seeing these smear marks. You start seeing these smear marks right on the LCD. So now if the customer is viewing the, his like device at nighttime, and as the auto brightness kicks in, it dims out the light, the, the colors on the OLED panel will start to a little bit like there's, there's like streak marks right on the OLED. Now, most of the video will not be able to capture this in this, but the ones that do have seen the GX panels, they should be able to see these smear marks on the LCD as you lower the brightness. Is it heavily noticeable? No. But is it as like smooth as the ZY or maybe even the Tin Man LCD? It's much smoother on these panels comparative to the GX. Um, so one downfall on GX, I would say the biggest downfall I would not rec or the biggest downfall of GX soft would be that it's not 360 polarized. Um, so the polarizer is one of the only main issues for GX soft. This model is not 360 polarized and all the rest of them will be 360 polarized GX or ZY. The other good thing about the ZY hard is to be honest the price. I mean it's actually right now 50% price of the GX soft and GX hard is somewhere right in the middle of these where the colors are great there are some downfalls to it but the price is also somewhere in the middle as well at this point I mean it's more ZY has been a lot more uh, aggressive to bring the OLED tech technology almost to the price of the LCD panels um, the good thing for a little while we've also downplayed that hey ZY there's one major issue is that hey once you do drop the OLED panel it actually blacks out on the screen so there is a newer version that ZY has just announced it's, it's their second version um, what the initial issue was that as the flex was bending or, or, or around the old OLED panel right down here there used to be a little um, area where it was easily damaged so as the customer dropped it and it took impact right over here it would actually cause pressure and black out the screen um, and right over here this is so this time what they did was they changed these the structure of the frame where there's a lot more flexibility for the flex to loop all, 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 all the ground and it shouldn't do any type of uh, blacking out I mean I've done a couple multiple drop tests on the Z, Z, Z like Y to make sure that hey we don't incur these issues as uh, its predecessor has been. And at this point, we haven't seen any issues uh, along those lines. We've also spoken to ZY and said like, hey, if there ever is an issue of a blackout, what would be the instance of that? And they'd say, hey, they'd 100% cover it. So it's not the fact that, hey, that it's not going to be covered if it ever is blacked out. Um, there is going to be coverage on it, um, but hopefully that doesn't happen on their second version because then making a stronger cover glass, changing the, the structure of the frame should eliminate that major issue. Um, so to be honest, I mean, I iPhone X, it's been, it's being very competitive right now in the market. There is a few other brands that are out now um, that are going to actually help bring the prices down on the iPhone Xs. There's t the Tianma soft OLED panel coming out. There's the BOE soft OLED that's coming out. There's the washing panel. So all these manufacturers that are making panels for the iPhone X, which means that it's a great opportunity for the repair industry to come and see prices come down to a re reasonable price that they should be able to offer to, to their customers. At this point, I mean, I know that I would like to make a, a secondary video where there would be where I can compare 10 or 15 different type of iPhone X's because at this point there is a quite a bit of variation available from the market. Um, I'm going to come back with a secondary video. This is just a general idea on what few panels are out now which are readily uh, like available. The other panels are available but they're still kind of in the testing phases so I'd like to kind of wait before we can get some better results and inf inf information for you guys. Thank you.